looking to create something beautiful with somebody, let us help you out. Hey, welcome to Online for Love, your number one resource for dating by the numbers. Today we're going to be going over the top four dating sites for artists. Before I jump into this review though, you have to check out our free online dating app quiz, which is linked above me as well as in the description. Go to our quiz, it'll actually pair you with your perfect online dating site or dating app. It's quick, it's fun, it's easy, it's totally free. So I'm really curious to know what your results are. So go take the quiz and come on back here and comment below what you got because I'd love to know. Also, do not forget to check out our deals page as well well because we here at Online for Love are always getting all sorts of awesome deals for different dating sites and dating apps and why spend more money if you don't have to? So click the link popping above me to go to our deals page and possibly save yourself some dough. But now we're going to go ahead and dive into this review. So the top four dating sites for artists will go as follows. We are going to be talking about artist dating, love arts, uniform dating, and OkCupid. Starting with number one, artist dating. Let's dive into the demographics of this site. So artist dating is a niche dating site that's dedicated to people who have devoted their lives to the arts in some way or another. So even maybe that's painting, maybe that's live theater. Um, in some way, these people are very dedicated to art in some form, and they're looking to find people who have a similar lifestyle to them, or at least value the same thing as them, which is art in whatever capacity. There are so many niche dating sites out there for any particular interest or a type of relationship. And so art, I think is just a natural one to have. If you think about people who are artists, sometimes they tend to lead sort of unconventional lives or maybe they have an unconventional work schedule. So besides the fact that they might be looking for someone who can appreciate their taste and hobbies and love of art, um, they might also just want someone who can really kind of mesh with their lifestyle that might be different than the norm. They might not work a regular nine to five. They might do, you know, if they're in live theater, maybe they work weekends, nights, etc. So there's a lot of reasons why people are looking for um, specifically artistic people to fall in love with. So this is clearly the niche that artist dating is going for, clearly from the name itself and everything. Um, unfortunately, it was very difficult to try to find any, you know, more particular demographics for this site, like the age ranges of the people, um, where they're located, etc. Gender breakdown. They don't, that information is not really available, and that tends to be the case when it comes to niche dating sites. The data is usually a bit less upfront than other bigger ones like eHarmony. But I did find out that this site was created in 2001 and it seems to be mostly popular within the United States. So jumping into the ease of use, if you want to use this site, you have to use it on a desktop or a browser of some sort because it's not available as an app. The registration process itself is very quick and simple actually, um, but it is different because you do have to be vetted before you are allowed to actually use the site so you can't jump into it right away. I feel like in general it is pretty much a good thing if there's some sort of vetting process, so hopefully this will create less fake profiles or scammers on the site itself. But once you do have access to the site, it's not necessarily anything to write home about as far as the site layout, design, etc. It's pretty run of the mill. You do have some um, search specifics you can choose to utilize if you'd like, like location, gender, etc. But they're very basic. All the things on here are very basic. They do also have a live chat feature. And if you want to really utilize most of the site, you will have to become a member because not everything is free. Overall though, this site does seem like it could have promising prospects in the area of finding love online. Um, with the shared interest of art just because it's been around for so long It's got pretty good longevity all the way since 2001 and the vetting process would suggest that the people on the site are legit um, Although you never necessarily know and the vetting process although very much useful Can also be very annoying to some people who might just give up in the process of waiting to be vetted So it can be a pro and a con at the same time But overall if you're looking for artists, you can't really go wrong with this site It's dedicated specifically for you. So it gets a pretty good rating from us overall But I hope you're enjoying this video so far before we move on to the next site. If you are enjoying it, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. So it really helps us out when you hit the thumbs up button because that shows YouTube that people are enjoying our videos. So then YouTube pushes our content out for more people to see. So we would really appreciate your thumbs up and your subscriptions. Let's go ahead to the next site, which is called Love Arts. So very similar to the last site, this is obviously a niche dating site for people who are interested, who live and love the arts of many different forms. And as far as the user demographics in more detail, just like the last site, because this is a niche dating site, there just isn't that much um, information available to us, so I can't really break down the gender ratio, um, exact demographics of where people are living, etc. But I did notice while using this site that it doesn't seem to have a huge user base. If you go towards um, smaller towns, there might not be anyone in that area at all, so this might be something that could be more useful if you live in a bigger city. As far as ease of use, this is a very straightforward website. It's pretty easy to sign up and get started on the site. 
site. Um, it is pretty basic, nothing necessarily to write home about, just like the last site, though it does get straight to the point of meeting art lovers. So you can go ahead and fill out your profile and search for different people based on some parameters like their age range, their location, the type of photos they have, etc. This site does though give you a little bit more opportunity to fill out more information about yourself. So you can actually, um, you know, spend maybe up to 10 minutes or so at most filling out information about yourself, some questions that they ask that you will have to answer. We always recommend when websites give you the option to fill out more about yourself and to create a really detailed specific profile to take the time and actually do it because this is your first impression in the online dating world. You want to take it seriously, you want to come off as you want to come off. Um, so take the time to fill it out. I think it's great that this site actually gives you the opportunity to do that because um, I think for the last website there wasn't so much emphasis on a detailed profile but here there is so definitely take advantage of that. You can also upload up to 10 photos and again we highly recommend that you take the opportunity to do so. Upload some clear good up-to-date photos of yourself that'll definitely help your first impression. But again this site is definitely easy to use, straightforward. Um, it doesn't have an app though which I find strange. I feel like most websites like this would be better suited if they had an app as well but they just are on a browser or desktop version. You do have the opportunity to send messages, but if you want to effectively communicate with other members, you will have to upgrade to a membership so you can't totally utilize this site for free. Overall, this is a pretty solid site with a clear niche, so if you are an art lover, you'll probably find lots of people who are very similar to you on this site who might have what you're looking for. Um, but the site itself, it might be a little bit restrictive in the way that the user base isn't that huge. Um, you really will only have a lot of good luck if you're in bigger cities. You cannot communicate for free. You have to become a member and sign up and pay money for it. So it is a bit restrictive, but it's up to you if it's worth the price you have to pay in order to find someone who's interested in the same things as you. Question of the day. Day. what is your favorite artistic medium so this is kind of a broad question but let me help you narrow it down would you prefer doing something like painting maybe like fashion design maybe making creative YouTube videos what kind of art do you like to either participate in or consume let us know in the comments down below this might come as a shock to you but I definitely enjoy watching and participating in YouTube videos that's my creative outlet but yeah leave below what's yours Okay, next on our list is uniform dating. So let me preface this. When you say uniform, maybe that's not what you would necessarily think of when you think artist, artist uniform. You aren't artists supposed to like break free of that whole thing. Listen to me, all right? This website, uniform dating, um, it has a whole bunch of different niches on the website for different jobs. And one of them is completely just about artists. So this site isn't necessarily as targeted towards artists as the others we've talked about because it has a broad spectrum of different people of different jobs on here but artist is definitely a huge subsection and if you're looking to find someone who is an artist as well this could be a really great place to go to and actually the fact that it isn't just one niche of just being for artists specifically might actually help you out because that draws a lot more different people to the site so your opportunities might be going up as far as the ease of use the sign up process is very simple straightforward and very similar to most other dating sites you'll just have to input some basic information about yourself to start out with like your name gender gender preference etc email username all that jazz and you can move on and start to fill out your profile a little bit more and the matches you get will be based on some of the answers that you provide so again take your time to fill it out thoroughly the site is very simple maybe almost too simplified because there isn't very much to it they don't have a lot of menus to go through and there isn't a lot of bells and whistles as far as making contact with other users, you do get up to five free messages to send before you are prompted to sign up for a membership and pay to be a member of the site in order to continue messaging from there. And the site does actually have an app on either the Google Play Store or the Apple iStore, so you can download it as an app if you so wish, or you could use it on your desktop or your browser. Overall, this site seems like a good one to check out if you are interested in meeting other artists, specifically people who are professional artists. This might be a great place to check out. Because it isn't a specific artist niche necessarily that does draw in a lot more users so you have a way bigger user base to come from so that may be helpful if the other sites maybe aren't drawing as many people to you as you'd wish um, but again you do have to sign up to become a member if you want to continue utilizing the site after you send up to five messages and to get all the other um, features that it offers now if you want to be able to save money on a host of different dating sites and dating apps do not forget to check out our deals page which is linked above me because we here online for love are always getting 
all sorts of awesome deals from different dating sites and dating apps. Why spend more if you don't have to? So make sure to go ahead and check out our deals available to you on our deals page linked above me or in the description. But now let's go ahead and talk about our last site for the best dating sites for artists. And this is going to be OkCupid. So let's start with the demographics of OkCupid. So OkCupid is definitely the behemoth of the dating site in this group. This is probably the most popular one of the bunch. OkCupid is a very interesting site and I think a lot of artists are drawn to it in general. But OkCupid is one of the most inclusive sites out there. Um, you have a lot more opportunities to disclose who you are specifically, whether you are part of the LGBTQ plus community, um, no matter your pronouns, your sexuality, um, whatever. Like anyone and everyone is um, encouraged to be themselves on this site and I think that draws a lot of artistic people. Also what I think OkCupid has going for it that might draw a lot of people who are um, open with your creativity. It's just the fact that you have like an insane amount of prompts to write about yourself So this is sort of encouraging to be creative to tell stories about yourself to share about yourself and to read about other people So while OkCupid is not directly aimed specifically at artists It does tend to attract a lot more creative people than some other Just you know plain old swiping on photos dating apps tend to be let's talk about the ease of use So actually getting onto the site signing up um, is very straightforward as well, and it's nothing difficult here um, But it might take you a while because as I keep mentioning you you do have the option to fill out your profile to the nines you can answer so many prompts about yourself so um, you know depending how detailed you want your profile to be it could take you a good amount of time to sign up and get ready to start using the site but it's not difficult and it can be faster if you prefer it to be overall I think OkCupid is a great option if you're looking for other artists who are like you or people who just are into the same things as you though you might not necessarily find specifically only artists on this site it is definitely a good one to try out and you can use it for free so what's the harm that's gonna wrap up this video thank you so much for watching this do not forget to take our free online dating app quiz which is linked above me so you can get paired with your perfect online dating site maybe it's one of the ones I mentioned in this video or maybe it's something totally different who knows you have to click the link take the quiz and find out also do not forget to check out our deals page as well so that you could possibly save yourself some dough that will also be linked above me as well as in the description down below so possibly save yourself some money by clicking on that link to our deals page don't forget to answer the question of the day as well which is what is your favorite creative medium again i gotta love youtube but do you like to paint to draw to sing what kind of art do you love the most to participate in or to consume um now that you're just about done this video don't forget to check out some of our other ones popping up on either side of me but yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it please leave a like if you liked it and subscribe if you loved it and hopefully we'll see you here again on all in for love thanks bye